Welcome to the Inspirational Living Podcast. If you are having trouble sleeping, try our Living Hour Sleep Meditations, which combine the relaxing sounds of the ocean or rain with a binaural beat track and 50 positive affirmations to send you off into a deep and rejuvenating sleep. Learn more by visiting livinghour.org slash ocean. Thank you. Today's reading was edited and adapted from The Writings of Albert Einstein. A human being is a part of the whole, called by us the universe, a part limited in time and space. We experience ourselves, our thoughts and feelings, as something separated from the rest, a kind of optical delusion of our consciousness. This delusion is a kind of prison for us, restricting us to our personal desires and to affection for a few persons nearest to us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison by widening our circle of compassion, to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature in its beauty. There are only two ways to live your life, one as though nothing is a miracle and the other as though everything is a miracle. I am enough of an artist to draw freely upon my imagination. Imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited, while imagination encircles the world. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existence. One cannot help but be in awe when we contemplate the mysteries of eternity, of life, of the marvelous structure of reality. It is enough if we try merely to comprehend a little of this mystery each day. Only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. If you want your children to be intelligent, read them fairy tales. If you want them to be more intelligent, read them more fairy tales. If you can explain it to a six-year-old, You don't understand it yourself. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Teaching should be such that what is offered is perceived as a valuable gift and not as a hard duty. Never regard study as duty but as a wonderful opportunity to learn to know the liberating influence of beauty in the realm of the spirit for your own personal joy and to the profit of the community to which your later work belongs. Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. I speak to everyone in the same way, whether they are a garbage man or the president of the university. A clever person solves a problem. A wise person avoids it. The measure of intelligence is the ability to change. Strange is our situation here on earth. Each of us comes for a short visit, not knowing why, 
yet sometimes seeming to divine a purpose. From the standpoint of daily life, there is one thing we do know, that we are here for the sake of each other. Above all, for those upon whose smile and well-being, our own happiness depends, and also for the countless unknown souls, with whose fate we are connected by a bond of sympathy. Many times a day I realize how much my own outer and inner life is built upon the labors of others, both living and dead, and how earnestly I must push myself in order to give in return as much as I have received. Science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind. What humanity owes to personalities like Buddha, Moses, and Jesus ranks for me higher than all the achievements of the inquiring and constructive mind. It would be possible to describe everything scientifically, but it would make no sense. It would be without meaning, like describing a Beethoven symphony as a variation of wave pressure. Reality is merely an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. Try not to become a person of success, rather become a person of value. The most beautiful experience we can have is the mysterious. It is the fundamental emotion that stands at the cradle of true art and true science. Logic will get you from A to Z. Imagination will get you everywhere. Imagination is indeed everything, for it is a preview of life's coming attractions. Everything is determined, the beginning as well as the end, by forces over which we have no control. It is determined for the insect, as well as for the star, human beings, vegetables, or cosmic dust. We all dance to a mysterious tune, intoned in the distance by an invisible piper. Great spirits have always encountered violent opposition from mediocre minds. It is not that I'm so smart, but I stay with the questions much longer. What is right is not always popular, and what is popular is not always right. If A is a success in life, then A equals X plus Y plus Z. Work is X, Y is play, and Z is keeping your mouth shut. We dance for laughter, we dance for tears, we dance for madness, we dance for fears. We dance for hopes, we dance for screams, we are the dancers, we create the dreams. All religion, art, and science are branches of the same tree. All these aspirations are directed toward ennobling life, lifting it from the sphere of mere physical existence and leading the individual towards freedom. The pursuit of truth and beauty is a sphere of activity 
in which we are permitted to remain children all our lives. The individual who follows the crowd will usually go no further than the crowd. The individual who walks alone is likely to find themselves in places no one has ever been before. I'd rather be an optimist and a fool than a pessimist and right. If you want to live a happy life, tie it to a goal, not to people or things. The tragedy of life is what dies inside someone while they live. Reading after a certain age diverts the mind too much from its creative pursuits. Any person who reads too much and uses their own brain too little falls into lazy habits of thinking. The only thing that interferes with my learning is my education. Out of clutter, find simplicity. From discord, find harmony. In the middle of difficulty lies the opportunity. The world as we have created it is a process of our thinking. It cannot be changed without changing our thinking. The Inspirational Living Podcast is a production of The Living Hour and brought to you by the generous financial support of our patrons. Become our patron for as little as $3 a month to gain access to free transcripts and the series Our Sunday Talks, which features thought-provoking readings on spirituality and spiritual growth. Thanks for listening. I look forward to talking with you next time.